Pardon? Hello? I think five. No, we do it six. Six, not five. Oh, yeah, we're doing six. Okay. Okay, okay. I guess six has won the, the what you call, whatever it has won. So six looks quite interesting. I don't even want to lie. Like six looks like what in the world, you know? So let us do it. What does it say here? It says six. Uh, we have two. And then we have x squared plus 3x equal to x squared plus 3x. Okay, so to be honest with you, looking at this question, right, like I totally feel blank. Okay, not like totally like 100%, but it's like, it's really just one of those questions where it's like, but then where does a person even start? You know, it's so difficult to like determine where a person is actually going to start when they are going to be looking at um, what we are seeing here. So in terms of where to start, I mean, like you may think to yourself, why don't we like cross multiply first, which is a noble thing to do, I guess. I mean, like I would probably, you know, cross multiply first also, but then let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Here we would end up with like, Bracket squared plus three X. So what I can safely say is maybe with these kinds of questions, you don't wanna to keep too many things in your head. Just test out what you can test out and see what it gives you. Oh yeah, you know what, Nay, let's carry on with this question. Cause I think I already see what's gonna happen. It's gonna give us something very important to keep a look out for. Because here you see it's X to the power four, which is something we're not used to. And then here we're gonna have X to the power of three. So it's gonna have four answers. Uh, let's see what we let's see what we can do. If this bombs out, I mean, like it's grade eleven, so if it bombs out, then we'll have to just, you know, to go back to the drawing board. This times this, this times this, and then plus three x to the power of three again, and then plus nine x squared there, and then this is like a four. Perfect, 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 perfect. Anyways, excuse me. So, anyways, or wait, did I? I think the last one I did, okay, it's fine. Ah, oops. So here, if you take everything on one side, it's gonna be x to the power of four plus six x to the power of three plus nine x squared plus four. So this looks a bit scary, obviously, because it's like, bro, what the hell? How do you eventually get x from here? So it looks like this is low key bombing out. And the sad thing is this is from a, a, a textbook. So we don't have like the mark allocation. So it's a bit, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a tricky situation. You know, it's a bit of a tricky situation. But then what I would maybe then try out is let's see and make, let's see what happens if you make this a K, you know, because remember we're trying to finesse this question. When you're trying to finesse, when you're finessing a question, there are no rules, you know, you try out what you can based on what you're thinking. So here we have two, let's, here, let's say here, let, um, K, let x squared equal to k because it looks like the x squared is what's causing problems here. Let's see, so this is gonna be two with k plus three x and then k plus three x two there. So from here, we can cross multiply, right? Then we're gonna have k plus three x, k plus three x, you see it. Oh, okay. Of which now on the right here, we can have K times K, which is like K squared. Yeah, three K X, another three K X. And then we have the nine X squared. And then the four, we can take everything on one side. Yep. Oh, yeah, we have two variables, A, K and X. Oh no. Yes, go on. No. Why do we um what's this let the x squared plus three x b k before doing all of this? Ah uh, well, I mean yeah, that can be option three, you know, because remember we're saying with this kind of equation, it looks like there's no specific way. So let's try and make that a k now. The whole x squared plus three x. The next thing is we're gonna factorize and then make something k. You know, because I mean, like something has to budge, you know. 
So here you say, let's make this a K. And then from here, we'll have, uh, so here we said let uh, X squared plus three X equal to K. So this would be K, this would be K, we would end up with like four equal to K squared. Oh, dang it, of course, man, smart people. Away, 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 two. And then this is like K. So K is good to two or K is got negative two. Oh, perfect. So the X squared here plus three X equal to two. Let's answer this first. So this we can get it using the quadratic formula, but we can also just factorize two and one. Yeah, wow. negative, no, 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 it's not gonna work out. Yeah, one and two are not gonna work because yes. one and two gives you a three, yes? Yeah, and then plus and the plus is not gonna, yeah. Minus the B, minus the B, minus B plus minus uh, B, squared minus four AC over two A. And the uh, first answer, B? Yeah. The first, the first answer. Oh, you really got it. No time. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. I'm just. I'm still writing it out. Remember. Oh. Okay. The first answer is minus. Yep. Numerator three plus square root seventeen over two. Uh -huh. okay. And then the second answer is, uh -huh. the answer, the second answer is minus, okay, you know what? The, the, that one that you wrote up there, that one is the second answer, but then the first answer is technically minus three and also minus two at the bottom because the minus is like, Divided fraction, so it occurs on both sides, in both numerator and denominator. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's interesting. Wait, hold on. Let, let's make life easier <laughs> for you, because if I can just put this in the calculator, I'll be able to see what you're saying. So let's see. Plus square root of three squared minus four, one, negative two, and then it's like two and one. Okay, yeah, so there's this first answer. And then for the negative, it is, um, oh yeah, the next one has it in front. So negative three, instead of 17. Okay, fine. These are weird answers, but that's what we're getting. For the, for the negative two, we're gonna get other answers, right? Uh, we we're gonna have the, so K was equal to two answers. So here we're gonna have to say also, this thing is got negative two. So X squared plus three X equal to negative two. Bring it over, we're gonna have the uh, um, X squared plus three X plus two equal to zero. Factors of two that can give us a three is one and two. Two, yes. And then times two and one, and then this will make a plus and a plus. Because this multiply together gives a two, add it together gives a three. So X is yes. negative two or four answers as you said. So yeah, this question was actually another better. Or, or you still don't know that you don't agree? No, I agree. You will agree? Away, Pardon? away. Yeah, I agree. Good, 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 is good, is good. So anyways, anyways, let us move the on then to the next question. So you, you're going to do five now. <laughs> 